guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. So, I did a poll on my channel the other day asking if you wanted to see another EXO Red Carpet Review, EXO Red Carpet Review Part 2, or if you wanted to see my top 10 red carpet looks from 2021. This poll got 1.5 thousand votes and EXO won by 56%. There is literally 12% in it, so I will of course be doing my top 10 red carpet looks of 2021. This video is also in ASMR because you guys have requested it in the comments and it's my birthday today, so I feel like giving something back. I get a lot of comments about my voice, saying you find my voice relaxing, so I'm just hoping that you really Enjoy this ASMR red carpet review. <laughs> so just like all of my reviews, I've got a selection of EXO red carpet looks here on my laptop. We're going to go through, talk, designers, silhouettes, fabrics, cuts, all of that good shit. And then as it's a review, I'll be rating the looks out of 10. And in my previous EXO red carpet review, I was rating the looks out of 10 red hearts. So we're going to continue with the 10 red hearts. If you want to learn more about my fashion background, I've left a little blurb in the description box that you can read at your own leisure. Let's jump into the first red carpet look. So I mentioned in the intro of the video that today is my birthday, hence why I'm doing this ASMR video. So I just wanted to have a moment of being sentimental and throw up this post from last year on my birthday. I posted saying that I wanted to say a huge thank you to you all as we just hit and gone past 5,000 subscribers. I said, I'm so thrilled and honestly stunned. It's my birthday tomorrow and I was aiming to hit 3k by my birthday. So thank you so much. You've all made me an extremely happy guy just in time to celebrate my P-Day. So the fact is a year later and we're literally just as I'm filming this, obviously I'm not filming this on my birthday, this is pre-birthday filming, I'm just pretending. As I'm filming this, we're just about to hit 42,000 subscribers. So, a massive, massive thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who has subscribed. I'm so, like, I've never been so happy that this is my job. This is my dream job. And the fact I get to work for myself and build this community with you guys it makes me so happy every day so thank you so so much it does mean a lot to me every like every comment one of my favorite things about doing youtube is talking to you all in the comments so make sure you leave me a comment it is my birthday today after all <laughs> so to celebrate in true birthday style I thought we'd crack open a bottle of Prosecco together. I am quite nervous to do this with my laptop literally about 15 fucking centimeters away from this, but... you can hear the fizz. 
So, a big, massive cheers to you guys. Pause the video here if you are over the age of 18 or, you know, the legal age in your country and being sensible here. But also do what you want. Pause the video here. Grab a glass and cheers with me. So, cheers to all of you. Thank you so much for all of the support and being a part of this amazing community that we're building together. Cheers. <sighs> so, let's get in to the meat of the video. Why all of you are here. Exo Rekabu Fashion, part two. If you've not seen part one, I'll leave a link in the description box. You can check it out after watching this video, because why would you want to leave right now? Why? Why? So, let's kick things off with EXO at the 2017 Mamas. How handsome do they look? How fucking handsome does every single member of EXO look? This image, when I was researching this video and I saw this image, I was like, save, right click, save. This is 100% going in the video and I know that this is the classic red carpet style that we see, the black and the white, but the embellishment, the different cuts of tailoring, the fact that every single member has a different color style going on different ties, different brooches, different necklaces. It makes it so beautiful. Let me just pause for a drink break because... Ah, starting with Janyol. Janyol looks fucking sexy and if you watch my EXO marathon, well, you would know about how Janyol gets me he creeps up on me, and then I'm like, thirsting over him, like a thirsty dog. Look at this man. Look at this man. I love this look for Janyol, because it's leaning slightly more classic than the other looks that EXO are presenting at the Mama 2017. And looking at the suit, it looks like a really nice slim cut, single breasted suit, and when we see clips of the close-up from the video, we can see that he's got a pretty standard white shirt on underneath. It's got a slightly spread collar, and then underneath he's got that black ribbon bow tie. The black ribbon bow tie is what's making this really contemporary, and then to me it looks like the lapel detail is really interesting. It looks like the jacket here, where you would normally have the collar and the bow folding back, it's collarless. And then it looks like the collar is attached and it's a separate piece that's coming down like this. I think it's really, really interesting. And it's just the small details like that that can make something that is very classic lean more contemporary. And as I said, he just looks so fucking sexy. So hot. Next up, we've got Dio and Dio's look again is quite classic, one of the more classic looks that we've got here on the red carpet. And like Janyol, we've got another slim, single-breasted suit. We can see that Janyol's suit is an SP2, as an industry term for single-breasted two-button. And we can see that he has a notch lapel, which is where your collar piece is the same width as your lapel piece. The contemporary touch that's been added to Dio's look to me, it looks like they've added a very subtle brooch on the collar of his shirt. The collar of his shirt is more of a point star, which means the points are closer together, pointing more down. Janyol is a spread because it looks like it's spreading outwards. You know, I just can't help going back to Janyol. <laughs> that was weird. God. It looks like it's got some kind of dye with hardware detail. It kind of looks like a clip-on dye. Like deconstructed, I can't quite work it out. But 
is a really, really interesting detail. Moving on to Kai, the beautiful, beautiful Kai. I love the fact that Kai is wearing a coat because it creates different levels in the look. And when you look at the hemlines of the jackets, they're all finishing at different levels, especially Kai's and Shumin's. Shumin's is cropped, whereas Kai's is just sitting in below the knee. This is a double-breasted six-button coat, also known as a TP6 in industry. It looks like it has a peak lapel, which is where your lapel piece comes out further than your collar piece, like my jacket here. To me, it looks like Kai's shirt has a hidden placket, and a placket is where the buttons sit and fasten on the shirt at the center front. The center front is here, fairly self-explanatory. And a hidden placket is where there's a layer of fabric over the buttons that hides them, so it just makes the shirt look more clean, more minimal. And then the coat on the lapel piece has that beautiful flower brooch. This is the statement of his look, and again, it's the piece that's making it lean very contemporary. The looks have been finished with slim cut black trousers and black dress shoes. I really, really love Guy's look. It's incredibly chic, and the brooch is like the star of the show. Moving down the line to Suho, we've got another slim cut single breasted suit, another SP2. You guys should know what that means by now, but this jacket, it has a peak lapel, again, like this, where the lapel comes out at a diagonal further than the collar piece, and it's a nice subtle difference between Dio suit, changing the collars up can definitely change the appearance of a suit, menswear is all about the subtle details. The main focus of Suho's look, again giving that contemporary touch to a classic look, is the silver buttons going up the shirt and that beautiful brooch on the lapel, it kind of looks like a firework, it's really beautiful. Looking at the close up shot of Suho, we can see that the collar is slightly larger than the collars that we've seen on Kai, Tio, and Janyong shirts. It has more drama to it, and the buttons are slightly larger, so I think by making the collar slightly larger, it balances out the look. Next up, we've got Chen, and straight away you notice that his cut off jacket is completely different to the other three members that are wearing suits. Chen has got a double-breasted six-button jacket on. As you know, a TP6 in industry terms. We can see that his jacket has a peak lapel, and it looks like a very slim peak lapel. In my opinion, the lapel and collar look slightly too slim for the jacket, but I love the button detail. It ties into Suho's, the silver buttons, and I like the fact that they're more of a rectangular placement, a traditional six button double breasted jacket would have four that sit in a square and then the top two would sit slightly further apart, giving it that diagonal appearance coming in. Looking at Jen's shirt, this is a granddad collar shirt because it doesn't have the four. The piece that goes against your neck is called the stand and then the collar piece that comes back down is called the four. Very self-explanatory. But this granddad collar shirt, the stand has been raised so it sits higher on his neck and then he's got that silver button detail at the top and then a hidden placket hiding the rest of the buttons. It's a really nice touch and it looks like the button on the collar is the same as his suit but on a slightly smaller scale. Looking at the rest of Jen's outfit, it's been finished with slim cut black trousers that are cropped and they sit just above his shoe. It's a really nice silhouette on him, and I think it's a fantastic look. I just wish the collar and the belt were just slightly wider, but that's just me being a picky fucking bitch. And that's what I am. Shumin's look. I fucking love Shumin's look. The fact that we've got the crop jacket with the cummerbund above the trousers, elongating his leg. The jacket is worn open, so we're getting the break of the body. You know, it gives a really, really great silhouette. Looking closely at Shumin's jacket, it is a peak lapel, and the 
this is single breasted and looking at the shirt underneath it looks like it could be a silky kind of fabric it looks like it has a slight sheen to it compared to the other members and this is another spread collar you can see that it's really coming out wide and this collar looks quite large and exaggerated it's going underneath the collar and the bow of his jacket and then underneath drama girl fucking drama i'm here for it that crystal necklace draping down under the collar it adds the right amount of embellishment and shine to tie it in to the other members shumin's looks have been finished off with crop trousers like jen's that sit just above the shoe it is a really fantastic silhouette on him he looks incredible next up we've got baekhyun and he looks so beautiful i fucking love baekhyun you 
juicy colour on the red carpet and what I love is how the colour palette of the outfits it ties into the background I always talk about this if the background is a colour that completely clashes with your outfit it's gonna look shit and the fact that the outfits tie into the carpet into the background it just really fucking works so good and the Golden Disc Awards do take place in the winter and I think this is a fantastic winter colour palette the deep autumn browns the burgundies the golds the whites I will admit now the golds are not my favourite that's just personal preference but here at a part of the colour palette I think it works really really nicely what I think is a really nice touch throughout all of the members looks is that they have the contrast either colour or the bell piece in black and it just really helps to stand out against their look and it then ties in to the members that are wearing black trousers some members in full suits we've got two members Janyol and Kai in full suits and the others are in jackets and black trousers starting with Janyol in this deep chocolatey brown suit and this looks like more of a cool tone brown to me it might just be my laptop screen who knows but to me it looks like a cool tone brown and I like the full suit and I like the contrast black lapel and then the fact that they've kept it very clean with the white shirt and the bow tie personally I don't think the tart in the bow tie works with it I think if they'd gone for like a velvet bow tie in that same chocolatey brown it would have made it look incredibly luxe it would have given those Tom Ford kind of vibes the tartan doesn't work for me here but the rest of the outfit is beautiful looking closely at the jacket it looks double breasted because we can see that there is a button up here on the right hand side of his chest which is a dead giveaway that this is a db6 a double breasted six button jacket and it has that more classic button placement that we spoke about earlier the suit itself is a slim cut and we can see that the trousers are that slim cut that's cropped above the shoe like we've seen in the previous look at the mummers and whilst you're on the topic of it every single member has that same silhouette on the trouser a slim cut and it's cropped right above the shoe so it's framing the shoe very nicely i think it works better with some looks than others but we'll dive into that as we go down the line moving on to dio this is an incredibly classic menswear evening look the white jacket with the black trousers incredibly classic you see it all the time in like james bond movies that kind of shit the white tux jacket with the black trousers and i really love the fact that you've got the contrast lapel if it was all white it would just blend into nothing so having the contrast lapel which is a peak lapel you can see it's going up at the diagonal and then we've got the black covered buttons two buttons single breasted two button sp2 and then he's got the four buttons at the cuff it just adds a nice element of black and depth to the jacket and then he's got that slim cut black trouser the black shoes and then you can see he's got that slightly spread collar shirt and then we can see that he's got the embroidered tie and to me i would assume that this is dior i associate bees with dior you see it quite a lot in their embroidery and within their collections like their ties etc so i think it is a dior tie actually i've changed my mind about dior's tie i think it's gucci because gucci also use bees which makes my life fucking difficult dior and gucci go to court have a lawsuit sort it the fuck out because down the line i'm seeing bees on other members pieces but we'll get to that moving down the line to kai i will admit the full gold suit is not my favorite and that hurts me because i fucking love kai i like the fact that it's double breasted it's six button it has that classic six button shape the contrast black collar it helps ground it and tie it into the shoes and create balance but i think where it's fully gold it's just a bit much i understand why they've done it because like you think we've got Chen Yo and Chen in the brown we've got Kai and Jimin in the gold and then we've got Suho and Sihan in the burgundy 
Sekian and Dia in the white, then you'll notice that Su of Xian and neither of them are in a full burgundy suit, which would have worked. So why have they put Kai in a fully gold suit? For me, it just doesn't work. They could have done black trousers with it, and it would have been similar to Suho's, where Suho has got the six button jacket, double breasted, and Xian is single breasted. I like the cut of the suit on Kai though, the slim cut and double breasted, it works really beautifully on him. And then he's got the white shirt with that tartan tie. For me, the tartan, it doesn't work with the looks. The colour palette is enough, it would have worked better if they just kept the accessories black or tonal to the suit. So, this is not my favourite Kai red carpet look, but he still looks beautiful. It always does, and the suit fit on him is incredible. Moving down the line to Suho, we can see that he's got the burgundy double breasted six button jacket. The button placement and all of the double breasted suits have been very classic. That full button in the square, and then the two slightly wider, and then he has the black collar piece. And for me, everything about this look works. The velvet bow tie, the black a slightly oversized bow tie tying into the black collar, the black trousers, the black shoes, the cut of everything is fantastic. The only thing I don't like is the shirt, and I think this is a Gucci shirt because you can see the snake oblique on the collar. It doesn't make sense with the rest of the outfit. It's a very classic outfit, but the fact that it's a slim cut that oversized bow tie it's making it lean just ever so slightly contemporary so the snake on the collar for me it doesn't necessarily work like it's fine you can't really see it i didn't really notice it until i zoomed in it's only because i could see the red behind the bow tie that i was like what is that but yeah not the best next up we've got chen and he's in that rich Gordon chocolatey brown like Chen Yo, and again this is a single breasted jacket two button we've got the coloured buttons and then this is a notch lapel you know by now what a notch lapel is and the black collar really ties into the trousers and the shoes and then he's got the spread collar shirt with that red tie I like the red ribbon tie but as I've said so far of the rest of the looks, that really bright red, it just doesn't work with the rest of the colour palette. This is more of like a deep or terminal colour palette, so keeping the accessories black or tonal would have worked so much better. Like that tie, imagine that ribbon tie, if it was all black, it would have worked so much better. I just think the red is kind of out of place. Next up, we've got Shumin, and he's got the same cut of jacket as Jen. He's got the single breasted two button notch lapel jacket, but you can see that his lapel piece is black and the collar piece is gold. For me, I'm still not a big fan of the gold, but it works a lot better here with the black trousers because it has the black to ground it, it breaks it up. And then the comment I made about Jen having the black tie, we can see how well this works here on Shumin. It really works with the rest of the outfit, the crop silhouette, the beak of the white cuffs coming through, it all works really well. But then I have the same comment as Suho, the applique on the collar, it is out of place and looking from far away, you don't really notice it. But when you zoom in and you see it, it's just really standing out for the wrong reasons. Gucci, no, it's not working with the rest of the look. IMO, in my opinion. Next up, we have Baekhyun. I'm gonna say it again, I love Baekhyun. And we can see that he has that same single breasted jacket on as Jumin, as Jen, as Dio. It's the twin to Dio's jacket, but there have been some slight detail changes Dio has the black lapel pieces, whereas Baekhyun has the black collar piece. This is still a peak lapel, you can see the diagonal coming up, but it's just the collar piece is black instead of the lapel. Again, like I said, the oh 
oversized black bow tie. It works so well. I really don't understand why they didn't give Chan Yo the same. It doesn't work with his suit, but then we have it on Suho and we have it on Baekhyun, so I don't understand why Chan Yo didn't get the same accessory. Maybe it's a point of difference. Who the fuck knows? And then, as I've said, Baekhyun has got the slim cut trousers and the black dress shoes as every other member. And then you can see that there is this very subtle butterfly embroidery on the point of his shirt. And for me, this embroidery works because it is so subtle and you can't really see the colours that much. So it works with the outfit. But even if the colours were slightly louder, where the outfit is black and white, it works. Look at it against Suho and Chuin's. Baekhyun's is the best in terms of the colour embroidery working with the rest of the outfit. Finally, on Seon, and he's got the burgundy jacket, the single-breasted version of Suho's, and he's got the black lapel piece, and it is a notch lapel, I'm assuming it's two buttons, the same silhouette as the other members, and then his has been finished with that classic Gucci tie. When I looked at this tie, it made me realise Dio's tie was Gucci, because you can see the little B, but then it's got that Gucci stripe going across it in the chevron shape. I like Seon's look because his trouser is slightly longer which is a good silhouette on him where he's taller and it hits the shoe. I like the gold detail on his shoes as well. The only thing that irks me about this look and you guys are gonna be like you're a fucking joke. You're the biggest fucking bitch ever and it's the fact that his jacket is fallen open. Every other member in the shop the jackets are done up, so why is this open? Did any of you even notice that? It was probably the first thing I noticed, which makes me sound like I've got fucking OCD or something, but, girl, do you know what I mean? If he'd just done that up, he would have looked as slick as everyone else, but where it's open, it doesn't look as slick. like a brownie burgundy belt to tie him with a jacket, why would you not just go over black? So I'm going to give EXO at the 2018 Golden Disc Awards, I'm going to give this seven red hearts. I like the colour palette overall together, but I don't like the full gold suit on Kai, I think it's a bit much, and I feel like some of the accessories and the embroidery on the collar, it just doesn't work with the colour palette. I like the fact that EXO always do a classic with a contemporary twist and they've always looked incredibly fucking handsome, but the accessories here just didn't work for me. Right, let me finish my Prosecco before we wrap this video up. <sighs> I've actually had so much fun filming this ASMR video. It's completely different. But it's been so much fun, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments, and who knows, maybe I'll do another one if you would like. So let me know in the comments, and let me know what you think of the looks featured in today's video. But thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I honestly appreciate each and every one of you. I would not be doing this if it wasn't for you, so thank you. And... I'll see you guys in my next video.